Hi, I'm Tyler. And I'm Tyler. And that, that should, should make, make us easy. easy to remember. We're board certified prosthetists and orthodists, which means we make artificial limbs and braces. We've spent the last two years developing a method for 3D printing orthotic and prosthetic devices. We're ready to take the next steps to bring these devices to the people who need them. But first, we need your help. Here's some background on what we're talking about. In school and in our residencies, we were taught the traditional method for treating patients and fabricating custom orthotic and prosthetic devices. This method begins with taking a cast of the patient's anatomy, filling that cast with plaster to form a mold, and modifying that plaster by shaving away or adding plaster to obtain the desired shape. Then, plastic is heated up and vacuum formed to the outside of the mold. The desired shape is cut out, ground, and buffed into its final form. The finished device is fit to a patient by a certified orthodist or prosthetist. Like us, there's a lot of waste in this method. Aside from the time wasted waiting for the plaster to set up, waiting for the plastic to heat up, and then waiting for the plastic to cool back down after thermal forming, casting material, the plaster for the mold, and the unused plastic from thermoforming all get thrown away. With 3D printing, we can eliminate all of that waste. 3D printing, also called additive manufacturing, has opened up a new world to our field. We can digitally scan patients to get the shape of their limbs, and we have learned how to modify those 3D models for 3D printing. Tyler and I have spent the last two years teaching ourselves how to 3D model and 3D print. We have honed our skills to a level that we are ready to begin using our 3D printed devices on patients in our clinics. Our method requires less time, less material, less space, and less energy. When we print a device, the shape is accurate to within microns versus an unknown amount of error from eyeballing it when we modify by hand, which can lead to a poorly fitting device. We're excited to see things like the enable hand for upper limb amputees, but remember that only 5% of amputees are upper limb amputees. The majority of amputees are still not able to reap the benefits of this wonderful new technology, and we want to bring it to them. We have faith that our ability to 3D print prosthetic and orthotic devices will revolutionize this field, and now we're asking you to have faith in us too. We've printed over 50 sample devices during the course of this project. These are anatomically accurate, custom made from scans of patients' bodies, and they are structurally sound. They'd be ready to wear, except they're just too small because we don't have access to a big enough printer. We have the files ready to print, and we have the patients who can benefit from these devices the first day we have a printer. All we need is the right printer to bring this revolution into existence. And that's why we're asking you to help us reach our goal of $9,000 so that we can buy that printer. We'll use it in our clinic to improve the care of the people we treat. Once we have it down to a science, we'll share our method with the entire field, allowing amputees across the country and across the world to receive better care. To say thank you, everyone who donates will receive a picture of our first 3D printed prosthesis given to a patient. Anyone who donates over $50 will receive a miniature 3D printed prosthesis keychain. The first 10 people to donate over $100, and everyone who donates over $200, will receive a custom 3D printed face mask. I'm not wearing hockey pads. <laughs>